For the fourth day in a row, Los Angeles County counted more than 2,000 new coronavirus cases on Wednesday, July 1, the same day the county saw the highest number of people hospitalized with the virus in nearly two months. Officials announced the news during a Wednesday afternoon briefing, shortly after Governor Gavin Newsom announced that bars, indoor dining and restaurants, indoor museums, card rooms and other businesses would be ordered to close in 19 counties, including Los Angeles, Orange, San Bernardino and Riverside counties, for the next three weeks. Specifically, Los Angeles County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer announced 2,002 new coronavirus cases on Wednesday, which she said is likely an undercount because the county is missing reports from one of the larger labs, she said. There have been 105, 507 cases identified in the county since the pandemic began. The county also reported 35 new coronavirus-related deaths, bringing the death toll so far to 3, 402. There were 1, 889 people hospitalized with the virus as of Wednesday, which Ferrer said was the largest number of people of people hospitalized since early May. The numbers announced Wednesday did not include one death or 145 cases that were reported that day in Long Beach. It also did not include any newly reported deaths or cases in Pasadena. Both cities maintain their own health departments. Ferrer said that as the number of cases and hospitalizations continues to climb, it's important for residents to be cautious, especially as the 4th of July weekend approaches. I really have confidence that with the immediate actions that we're going to be required to do today, she said, referring to Newsom's announcement, we have a chance to really actually prevent as many future cases, hospitalizations and deaths as is possible during this pandemic. Going into the holiday weekend, she said, I ask that you avoid the three C's. Avoid crowds, avoid confined spaces and avoid close contact with people who are outside your household. She said residents should remember that in addition to other practices that have been required throughout the public health crisis, including wearing a face covering and frequently washing your hands. But while she urged caution, Ferrer noted one silver lining in the county's coronavirus data, the average number of daily deaths related to the virus is going down. In early May, which saw the highest average, about 45 people were dying per day with COVID-19, the disease caused by the coronavirus. In late June, she said, that number had dropped to about 20 deaths per day. But the daily number of hospitalizations is not following the same trend. In May and early June, the county's health services director Dr. Christina Gali said, the number of hospital admissions was between roughly 150 and 200 per days. But last week and continuing through today, she said, that number has been closer to 250.